So hi guys, today we're going to have a look at one of the new resin plastic jacks from War Machine and this is going to be the Vigilant for the Protectorate of Menoth. So if we just have a look at the, the cover under the close cam here, you can see that this guy's going to come with uh, two shield fists. So he's going to be one of the more protective type jacks rather than the, uh, the more attacking style like the Dervish. So what do you get in the box? You get your card and you get your pieces. Now of course the pieces come ready bagged. So I've already taken them out here, but they come in the plastic bag that, uh, that keeps them apart for you. So some of the bits that come, of course, are the plastic base. Here we have uh, the sort of pelvis part and the two legs that go onto the pelvis. Here we have his boiler for his back, a couple of shoulders. This little loin clothy type bit, uh, sort of armoured loin cloth that comes with all the uh, protectorate light jacks. The main body, his little shield that goes on the top of the body there, and the headpiece. But moving that all aside, let's have a look at the, the functional parts. Let's have a look at the shield fists. So as you can see there, there's the two shield fists. They're pretty big and they're quite chunky. They look really good and with a really fine detail on them, really nice and sharp. It's going to take a, a, a really nice paint job, you know, uh, just a really good meta fixes and nice sharp details on them. Similarly, here's the, the two arms which those shields plug into. I've already assembled one of these and I know that one of the shields goes specifically into, into each arm because the arms are slightly different shapes. So you'll have to dry, if you dry fit it first to make sure that uh, you get the right one in the in the right arm, then it'll it'll go together. It'll go together fine. In fact, I found that the shields will hold themselves in without having to glue them in the arms. They snap in quite uh, quite nicely, and it don't, you don't need to glue them. So let's have a look at one that's assembled. I like these jacks so much that uh, I actually got two of them. So in good good old Blue Peter style, we've got one that I made earlier. Uh, as you can see, I decided to put him into a pose where he's uh, blocking with one of his shield fists over his face and the other is sort of held back so to give it a, a bit of a bit of an action pose again with these new resin plastic jacks it's really easy to get some nice action sort of poses with your uh, with your miniatures rather than, than the, the old knife and fork style uh, stance that used to come with uh, with all the, the metal jacks um, I really like these new new resin resin casts they're they're fantastic and they, they really do add to the battlefield whenever you you have them all assembled so what does this guy do well let's have another quick look at his card as you can see he comes with uh par two par 11 fists that add to his defense so he adds four onto onto his armor written sorry uh putting his armor up then to 21 which is slightly better than the old kador jack so he's pretty pretty solid he's going to take a take a good lick uh, in order to, to do some damage to him uh, but most importantly uh, this guy comes with girded which is an effect whereby any other uh, models that are in base contact with the vigilant are protected from blast damage now that's pretty good if you're going to protect something like the choir of menoth or some holy zealots something that's got a low armor something that's going to die probably to to a bit of a uh, a bit of blast damage. This guy can be can be put into your force in order to protect those sorts of guys and get them up the field that bit uh, that bit more safely. He's four points as well, so you know it's not a huge investment uh, out of your force to get one of these guys into it. And with two par uh, eleven fists, he can do some reasonably good damage. He's he's the sort of guy that you could put in with something like Amon Al Raza, um, where you can use synergy, and those two uh, two attacks are going to bolster your synergy spell so that you're going to get extra attacks and as we know with synergy spell the more attacks you get in a turn uh, the more powerful the spell becomes so this guy with his two attacks um, you know he's he's possibly nearly nearly perhaps uh, as good as the dervish um, for about four points so I mean that's what I that's the way I'm going to run him I'm going to run two of these with Amon Adraza just to see what uh, what sort of uh, setup that that brings about with his synergy spell and of course put in the daughters of the flame as well just to just to add a bit of insult to injury so i can get as many attacks out on a turn as i can so what do you think guys do you like the do you like the vigilant what are you going to use them to protect holy zealots choir choir of menoth daughters of the flame perhaps stick some comments below and tell us all about it tell us exactly what you think of this brand new model